So we have an official Dashley family announcement. Dallin and I have found our spirit mass. Look at it. It's a pioneer church. He just woke up. Yeah, we can't open the package. George. What? What's in our room? The package. See, this is what in our room. Toys and books and Yesterday was our big package opening. The kids are waking up and they're seeing everything and their minds are blown. New shirts! Are you kidding me? Which one are you gonna wear today? This one! The Munster one? No, the race car one! I mean the queen! Come see, come see. What is it? I don't know. What do you see? I don't know, Manny. <gasps> Go get it. Okay, enjoy it. That jersey. Yeah, say thanks guys. It has your name on it. Do you see your name? It says James. That's your name. Yeah. James, come here. This one's special for you. <gasps> what is it? An Elsa. Do you want to wear it? No. Can we save it for later? Yeah. Look how pretty. Look at the bows. That is so beautiful for you. Yeah. Okay. And look, everybody knows that you love stickers. Yeah. Do you love them? Yeah. Where are you gonna put them? What can you decorate? I don't know. Down there. Down there? Yeah. yeah She's a little one. overwhelmed. I want the yellow one. This one? Yeah. Oh, you got some tools for the garden. Yeah, for the garden. You wanna take them outside? No. Oh my gosh. Watch, George, you can put it on your overalls. Mm -hmm. Check it out. What'd you find, when baby? We have to go right away. It's Daniel Tiger's book. You found Daniel Tiger's book? Yeah, you read it. Yeah, you ready? Yay. Daniel needs to go potty. I don't need to go potty. You push his button. What? James, you found the new watch for camping. You take that in our trailer. Yeah. Hey, look, Mom. It's me. Oh. You want to look at you? Here's Mom. Okay. You ready? So how you play mm. is you roll your dice. And what color? Green. So pick up a green. Brown one. And put it right in the tray. Right here. Down on. Green. Down on. Red. That one is a red one. What's that one? That's orange. Orange. Hey, Mom, I think those mushrooms are a toy. Two mushrooms. Mom, so how, how many, many mushrooms do you want? Just one. That's okay. You can have ten. Mom. Thank you. <laughs> it's always so interesting to me like what the kids gravitate to and it's usually things I wouldn't expect. This is the thing that George is playing with the most out of this whole haul. So it came from the train set and it's this magnet sticker. Can you show me how it works? Yeah. Okay, but after I show you works, you need to say no sticking. Okay. What? Hey, no sticking. Good job, man. Uh-huh. You see? That's my job. All right. Well, besides receiving probably around 30 gifts from all of you guys across the world and America, today is just a normal, ordinary day. I do have some things I wanted to show you. We've had a lot of requests for homeschool room tours. Um, and I will preempt this by saying I am neither organized nor an expert. Later today, I'll try and kind of show you it in action. So this is our beautiful little homeschool room. A lot of you have seen this before. It's a little different than last time. There's less kind of like toys out because we are trying to be a little bit more formal, but as I try and be more formal, I want to be less formal. So I'm kind of figuring out how I want to homeschool, which is the joy of homeschooling. You can just do whatever you want. And the goal is just to teach your kids how to be independent, how to read, how to love reading and all the other stuff. But once they know how to read, you can kind of go anywhere with that and learn science, history, geography, grammar, handwriting. The big thing though for us in our home is teaching our kids how to read and how to learn independently though, which 
is far off, but we're starting. This is what George and James are doing right now. And it's mostly George, but James takes part because she needs to be a part of everything. I may be a little bit crazy, but I did some research and I heard that cursive is a little bit easier for little kids to learn. And it's also kind of developmentally better for them. So we're really slowly starting into cursive and it's more just mostly me doing their names for them and learning what their names look like. And then, I mean, you can tell George is starting to kind of practice the up-down motion. Here's the letter I. <laughs> How cute is he? He's doing pretty good, right? For James, the goal is just for her to have fun. So she does what she wants to do. And when she doesn't want to do something, we have little activities for her. You guys sent all of these books. James loves to color and George kind of more loves to do anything but coloring. We have James's little felt animals. She likes to put these all over her clothes. She arranges them on our little felt mat. I can link that in the description if you're watching on YouTube or in the comments if you're watching on Facebook. It's just a little Amazon find and she loves it. Here is inside of our homeschool closet. Here's all of the stickers that you guys sent us. Her favorite thing to do while if, when she maybe gets bored of doing what George is doing is to just have a piece of construction paper and do stickers on it. We have tape. Zingo is a really fun game that even James can play. Puzzles. Just junk. And then in here we have like tissue paper and just like little things. The curriculum we're doing is a Becca. And if any of you guys are looking for a curriculum, I really, really love it. I was deciding between a Becca and sunlight and I felt at the time, like, Abeka had a better learn to read program and it was more structured and I wanted to kind of try that more formal vibe. Sunlight, spelled S-O-N-L-I-G-H-T, is more literature based and it was such a hard decision. I just wanted to really like focus on helping him learn to read this year and that might have been overkill. He might still be too little. I will say this, Abeka is so organized and it's so well made and it's just tried and true. It comes with lots of big like letter card manipulatives. Like these are their learning numbers cards. So like lesson six is what we're on and it's just one page and it really only takes us 15 minutes to get through. They have all of the little cards you would find in a classroom, like how to hold your pencil. So if you're looking for a tried and true, tested, beloved in the homeschool community, a Becca is a great option. I think we'll either take off next year for George and James and let them kind of get to be the same age so that they can be kind of the same grade um, and do sunlight. And sunlight's grades are for, it's a two year range, like five, six, and then kind of start them together. It could be a really fun homeschool thing where they kind of learn together. And the cool thing about homeschool is if George kind of pulls ahead and is developmentally definitely a year ahead of James, he can just go there. And if James wants to go there, she can go there too. Right now we have a fun, just chill morning. Dallin's downstairs working out. He usually works out first and then I quote unquote work out and go for a walk or I watch Hamilton and do the bike. Before I do that, I'm trying to get a fun breakfast. I've been trying to do a fun breakfast all week and today is the day. I don't even know what day today is. Hey guys. So we've embraced morning movie. Today is brave. Mom, can you tell me a story? Oh, okay, you ready? Uh-huh. Once upon a time, an incredible black robot came to your house, and you got to play with it all day. Guess what he did. You gotta show me. What? Our neighbors let him borrow it while they're on a trip. So happy story. A happy story? Yeah. Okay, once upon a time, there was a small puppy, and the puppy loved Jamesy so much, and her name was Luna. Yeah. Is that a good one? Yeah. So today for breakfast, we're making German pancakes. The recipe is on our website, so that will be in the description as well, the dashleskitchen.com. You can just find it if you don't see the link. I will apologize for the pictures because they are not the best right now, but I have to say, you guys are killing it with helping us to get our website monetized. We put on Instagram that we just need to get to 50,000 sessions in the month, and in one day, you guys got us to 25,000, and we're just so grateful and so excited, and we can't wait. This is kind of my thing, and... One of my favorite things to do, I learned this while I was kind of building the vlog, was is to like build businesses. And it's just so fun to do it again with something that 
is so just me. So thank you so much for visiting the dashleyskitchen.com. Thank you so much for using our recipes. James, do you want to help me do eggs? Yeah. Okay, come on. We need six eggs. Six eggs. I want to do Two. Can you count them with me? Okay. What's this number? I don't know. Yes. Three. I did it. Are you? Taylor. What the? What's your favorite color? Pink. Yeah. I like pink. I like pink with me. Yeah. Who's your favorite mom? You are my favorite mom. Yeah? Who's your favorite brother? Okay, I'm adding whole wheat flour for this recipe. It's better, i.e. more fluffy and golden if you do white flour, but it's healthier with wheat flour. Oh, oh, okay, stir that up. Here's the thing with German pancakes. They're really simple, they're really easy. It's just six eggs mixed with one cup of flour, one cup of milk, and one teaspoon of salt. Or at least that's the recipe I use, and it's just so, so simple. What makes them so good, I think, the secret recipe is the butter. So before you put the pancakes in the oven, you're gonna put your casserole dish, this guy right here, in the oven with three tablespoons of butter on the bottom and you kind of let that melt and it kind of browns a little bit. And then you're ready to cook your pancakes when the butter is all melted. You take your pan out of the oven, pour in the pancake mixture, and then put it back in the oven for in between 15 to 20 minutes and then it's done and it's amazing. And if you've ever seen them, you know they're so, so beautiful when they come out of the oven. Okay, the butter just came out of the oven and I'm just kind of swishing it along the pan. And then you just bring your batter and you dump. Go. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Okay, 20 minutes later, check this out. What? How? cool are these pancakes? I mean, it doesn't get more fun than this. Okay, here we go, breakfast time. Cheese, grapes, pancake piece, syrup, peaches. It's a pretty good breakfast. I didn't know that there was 200 calories in a fourth cup of this. This is where you have all your problems. You've never <laughs> checked up on these things. We put one, maybe two cups on <laughs> my pancakes whenever I eat them. Don's always like, I'm, I'm ready for a healthy breakfast. <laughs> Healthy breakfast? <laughs> That's not a healthy breakfast, Dad. Can see, is that yummy breakfast? I want other food. Mom, I'm full. Mom, I giggle as you wriggle and you wiggle all around. <laughs> and what's that letter? I, it. Mm -hmm. Can you say I, it? I, it. Do you want to know another cool fact? Mm -hmm. He is the color green so that he can have camouflage with leaves. No, I did not know that. Well, you need to come to mom's school more often. Okay, ready? Let's sing our eye song. Ready? Itchy, itchworm, itchy, itchworm. I says it. It, 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 it. Indian, it will, insect, itch, and Italy. I says it. It, it, it. Ready? I'm going to point to a number, and you tell me what number I'm pointing to and see who can be so fast. Okay? First, we're going to let James have a turn. So. Okay, it's James's turn, ready? Okay, James, are you ready? What number is this one? I don't know. Say number one. Number one, two. Yeah, okay, Georgie, what number is this one? Seven. Okay, Grandpa, what number is this one? Mm. It's the letter six. Six. <laughs> you got it. Yay. Okay, we're gonna count to 10, but while we count to 10, I want you to do touch your cheeks okay. and then touch your head. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ready? Okay, for this next activity, I have some really special bird's eggs. And I what bird eggs? Whoa. That's so cool. Yeah, okay, Ew. so I need you to make a nest with your fingers. Like this. And I'm going to put some in there, and then you need to count how many are in your fingers, 
and then tell me how many are in your fingers, okay? Okay. Okay, here's your special eggs. Can you count them? Sure. Okay, and here's One. Jeansy's special eggs. One. Can you count how many? And here's three. Grandma's. One, two, three. Touch them with your finger. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pretty simple and it's kind of like a dance where you have to be like four seconds ahead of them and if at any time we're doing something for like three minutes to four minutes we always hey, kind of transition to a song or to movement hey, and then all in all it only lasts like 15 minutes okay we just finished up in here and they are ready to go so we're gonna go do some outside playtime before my mom is gonna babysit also it's the greatest when my mom comes over because she cleans my whole kitchen hey you gotta choose your tool which tool are you gonna take to the sand park do you want this purple one james yeah okay the green one with spikes uh-huh one with spikes okay okay listen you can't hit any people with that one okay before we go to the sand, I have to show you. Look at these flowers. They are so big. Here's some more. Oh, they're just so beautiful. So these are rows of Sharon's or hibiscuses. And the cool thing about them is that the flower of this certain type only lasts for 24 hours. It's fine though because they get so many. So like see how many blooms, but the flowers just, it's like a, a really special flower that doesn't last that long. I just heard George saying, help mom, help. What happened? Oh my overalls just came off. Oh my gosh. That is too silly. You look like Tom Sawyer. I'm not Tom Sawyer. So these sand toys were sent to us in our package vlog that we did the other day and we just wanted to say again thank you so much like these toys are so fun and we just love them and use them. We sure love good shovels. It's hard to find a good shovel, huh James? Yeah. Especially a purple one that matches your dress. Yeah. For the food blog and for dessert tonight, I'm making my mom's blackberry raspberry creamy pie. And then for the main course, I've never made one of these before, it's a pork shoulder. And I looked up what you do with a pork shoulder and most people make shredded pork. And so that's what I'm doing. And I've never done that before and I did different things to the recipe. I added some pineapple juice here, extra barbecue sauce there. Turns out wasn't supposed to add those till the end after the pork is shredded. So it's just gonna be a great mystery, a great culinary mystery. You might discover something that has never been done before. Mm -hmm. We have an official Dashley family announcement. Dallin and I have found our spirit mass. Look at it! It's a pioneer church. Or an Amish church? Gosh, I wonder what this handsome young man likes to do. Play the drums. All you have to do. And other instruments. There's a lot of people out there trying to find the coolest, trendiest, most you know, like, doesn't make a big statement mask. It almost flawlessly blends in with your outfit. And I say why. Listen, Corona has made it really hard to get to know people because A, they don't want to talk to you. B, they want to stay six feet away. And C, it's Corona. So again, what are my interests? <laughs> Traveling to old farmhouses, allowing social distancing to help you socialize from a distance. There we go. There we go. Now we're gonna go inside a Shake Shack for a little date. Shall we? Oh, that was hot. All right, per the CDC, we are sitting down at a restaurant with our food. It's okay to have a mask off. And Ashley ordered cheese fries. Uh, yum. Healthy. Yeah. And it's the next day. Sorry we didn't film much rest of our date. We were just so excited to be by ourselves that we just put all cameras down. Hopefully you understand. We went to a comedian, super, super funny. It was a lot of fun. Today, we are about to go live right now and make a watermelon shake. Mm -hmm. uh, going live on Facebook. And we're announcing this big giveaway that we are doing for you guys to just celebrate the official launch of the food blog, thedashleyskitchen.com. If we had like a marketing team, 
we would have built this up for weeks and it would just be a big announcement, but we just kind of don't do that and we just say, <laughs> this is the launch of the website officially today. And we have our few first recipes up there to the dasherskitchen.com. So I'm gonna put the link to the big giveaway to celebrate and say thank you to you guys for like all of your support and help along the way. And this is definitely the biggest giveaway that we've ever done. Yeah, we're giving away a Blendtec. We like to give away Blendtecs, but we're giving away a lot of other kitchen stuff too, like an air fryer. And we're giving away some kitchen gadgets from our Amazon videos. But we wanted it to be something where a lot of people can win. So we also have a lot of gift cards up for grabs. Lots of winners and giving away some Dashley stickers too. Go to the link in the description and enter the giveaway. It's gonna go for two weeks. You can come back every day and visit the website again for more entries. It's all done through Gleam is what it's called. It's like this giveaway platform that we're yeah, using to just to, to organize them? everything. Good luck, I hope you win, and thank you again for all your support. Like, the Dashley fam means everything to us. See ya.